Hello everyone, my name is Miao Miao from Chinese Academy of Sciences. This presentation introduces WooProm, weekly supervised text classification with prompting POMs and self-iterative uh, logical rules. Here is outline. First, let me introduce the weekly supervised text classification task. WSD also called zero shot or dataless text classification. It only requires label names or limited style of seed words for each category and can greatly reduce the cost of annotation, especially in the dynamic and open web environment. Recently, the rest of prompting POMs has greatly boosted the WSTC task, and this method mainly leverage two capabilities of the POM. Uh, for one thing, um, they um, estimate the uh, likelihood for each category via the word probability distribution that is um, the logit over vocabulary um, and gets the label of each text via the verbalizer which links the category set and the set of selected category indicative seed words. For another, they use the prompting POM to generate words which can summarize the content of the given text. However, they all fail to differentiate the effect of the category indicated words. That is, certain words can determine the category on its own, like the label names, while others need to be used cooperatively to distinguish between the easily confused category. For example, the word penalty itself cannot signify the sport category, but when combined with the word go, the text is likely to talk about a football match. Conversely, an additional word company would imply the business category rather than sports. Therefore, a simplistic set of indicative words is not enough to cover the full meaning of categories. Instead, logical operations such as conjunction and disjunction are appropriate to capture the correlations of these words. Luckily, the flexibility of the prompting POMs just offer an, an opportunity to apply these logical rules in the template to achieve precise semantic representation of categories. So our core idea is that we use the prompting POM to get the studio labels and based on the studio labels, we mind the logical rules for each category. Then the studio labels and the mind rules can mutually enhance each other in an alternative way, establishing a self-iterative closed loop for knowledge acquisition and utilization. So that poses too many challenge. For one thing, when inaccurate studio labels are available, how to identify candidate category indicated words using the POM and build correlations among them by means of logical rules to capitalize each category. For another, with imprecise logical rules, how to effectively transform them into the PRM template for classification by handling each logical op operator discriminatively, and then update the pseudo labels attend to each text. Then is our proposed model. First, we propose a novel form of rule-based knowledge using the logical expression to capitalize the meaning of categories. Each category is represented by a disjunctive normal form and consists of a disjunctive subroute and a conjunctive subroute. Here is a framework for our proposed rule prompt. At first, with only label names and uh, unlabeled text, we use the zero shot prompting method to generate the pseudo labels and the signal words. Then, the approach into the self iteration between the pseudo labels and the logical rules through mutual enhancement. Meanwhile, the PLM is uh, gradually optimized by self-supervised fine tuning module. In the Rumani module, um, first, uh, we, uh, we define the confidence score for each studio label as a differences value between the highest and the second highest probability. Mm, then based on these scores, we cluster mm, the unlabeled text into the three sides for each category. Um, meanwhile, for each text, we extract strong signal words as its transaction instead of the words appearing in the text. Then we use frequent pattern mining to obtain the logical rules for in each category. Here, we treat each text as a transaction and each strong signal words of it as an idiom of the transaction. Mm, we pay attention to the most confidence side to mine the frequent one idiom site, which compose a disjunctive subrule. And we follow the site with moderate confidence score. We mine the two idiom sites to construct the conjunctive subrule. Sub 
In the RUI enhanced pseudo-label generation module, considering diverse capability of the PLM and distinct role the logical rules play with them, we design three units from different perspectives. And finally, the final result obtained by averaging the output from the three units. Um, on the one hand, for the word level, in the verbalizer-based category estimation unit, we estimate um, we, we directly uh, use the word in the first half of the disjunctive subrule to um, with, um, of, with higher support to expand the verbalizer in the view of the strictness of the verbalizer. On the other hand, for the last two units, we use the rule in the text level as same as the document. The whole rule is injected into the template to derive text. Then the classification is based on the similarity between the rule text and the document. That is realized in two views, global, imbe global embedding similarity and the local word overlapping. In the matching unit, we use the rule to replace the mask prediction in the template. Since the expression of the conjunction disjunction are not like the neural language text, so we handle the injective words separately and combine them in different ways for disjunction and conjunction. For disjunction subrule, we can directly calculate the similarity between the embedding of the document and the embedding of the root text. And then we weighted some of the similarity with the support from the frequent pattern mining. For conjunctive sum rule, the alter disjunctive option can be handled in the same way as the disjunctive sum rule. And the embedding of the two idiom set rule is computed as the weighted sum of the embedding vectors of the two <coughs> conjunctive terms with the one idiom set support. And in the word overlapping unit, we use the rule to replace the document um, position in template as an independent sentence. Here, considering the typical human speech pattern, we use the and instead of or to contact indicated words within a rule. And for the disjunctive subrule, we calculate the overlapping of the strong signal words. For the conjunctive subrule, as the involved indicated words are weaker, the match process should be more strict. Here, hence, we divide the subrule into two parts, construct the sentence separately, and take the, the maximum of the similarity score. Here are pseudo labels and the comple complexity analysis. It can be seen that our proposed approach rule prompt is scalable for the larger data set. And moreover, since the size of the subrules is fixed in our approach, more complex rules would not bring the greater comp uh, computational complexity. And in the self-supervised fine turning module, we adopt the self-supervised entropy as a loss function to sharpen the probability distribution. Then is the experiment. Here is the overall result. It can be seen that our proposed rule prompt can consistently outperform the sort of weekly supervised method. And what's more? It can significantly enhance the accuracy on the 20 new data set uh, where some categories are not completely destroyed. And then from the case study, it can be seen that RuProm can indeed mine the meaningful rules which align with our, hum uh, our common intuitions. For example, the art museum galleries are mined as the one idiom set to construct, um, to constitute the disjunctive subrule. Besides, the word architecture is found with two different categories, but compared with residential and apartments for the former, well, museum and culture for the later. That amplifies the ability of RuProm to disambiguate, to disambiguate the easily confused categories. Then, during several iterations, the rule and the prediction will optimized in the manner of uh, mutual enhan enhan enhancement. For example, with in one iteration, X and Bloom um, Bloom Bloomberg is mined, which is not very meaningful. But after three iterations, economic and company are mined, replacing uh, the previous one. 
them from the hyperparameter analysis. For the number of iterations, we can see that the result shows a trend of first rising and then stabilizing after only three iterations. Mm. Finally, let me conclude our work. This is the first attempt to, differenti to differentiate the effect of the category indicative words in the WSTC task and characterize the category meaning through logical rules, thereby establishing a new paradigm for knowledge representation in this field. And we propose a, a novel approach um, leveraging prompting PLMs to make the pseudo labels of text and the logical rules of categories enhance each other iteratively that facilitate a sufficient fusion of the automatically generated rule based knowledge and unlabeled data. <laughs> and the rule prompt can ex ex exist, exceed the sort of WSTC method. And the logical rules we extract are intuitively interpretable and provide valuable guidance by disambiguating uh, easily confused category. Uh, finally, is our future work, mm, we can stressing the exp expressiveness uh, of the category rules, such as adding the negation operator and study more effectiveness iteration strategies and expand the minor to other prompting PLM-based scenarios. Uh, that's all. Thank you for listening.